Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we kind of have a materials problem, and in particular, we're going to be talking about some soil properties. Uh, here's what the question says. Most nearly, what is the dry unit weight in pounds per cubic foot of a soil sample given the properties below? And then it's given us the weight of the mold plus the compacted soil, uh, the weight of the mold, moisture content of that soil, and the volume of the mold. And we see our four options available to us. Now notice they don't have units. It actually included it in the problem. So you might see that on the exam too, where they won't include units in the uh, in the answer bank, but they will in the problem. So be, uh, be used to that. Pay attention to the problem statement. Uh, all right, so let's go ahead and start off with some reading material here. We're going to be looking in the FE and the PE. And so in the FE, we're going to be in version 10.2. That's the latest and greatest manual. Uh, at the point of this video or at the time of this video and then we have civil engineering that's going to be the section that we're going to be in and then uh, geotechnical in particular so g-e-o-t-h what I'm in it right uh, that's an h short for geotechnical uh, and this is going to be on page 259 and then if we're looking in the PE manual we're going to be in version 1.1. That's the latest and greatest for that guy. Uh, and we're going to be in section 3.8.3. .3. So 3.8.3. And this is page 139. So there's that. And, uh, and when you're looking on those pages, you're going to find that the dry unit white, so gamma D, right? This guy is actually the weight of the solids. I in there over the volume right so the volume of your sample okay uh, now notice what we're given and notice what we need to solve for right we're given the volume uh, or sorry the weight of the mold plus the soil and we're given the weight of the mold using those two we can actually solve for the weight of the soil so notice that uh, right here we're given that right here we're given that if we subtract them the weight of the mold plus I'm just going to write CS, compacted soil, that minus the weight of the mold, this will give us the weight of the compacted soil. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Uh, and so when you subtract those out, this is 8.73 minus uh, 4.26. That's what it gives us in the problem, 4.26. And both of those are in pounds. Uh, you end up with 4.47. 4.47. Seven pounds, and uh, and this is actually weight total. Okay, so that's the weight of the mold. Notice it's weight total. This includes water. This includes air, even though air is weightless. Uh, and this includes uh, soil, right? This includes material as well. Weight of the solids. Uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and write that down here. Weight uh total is equal to the weight of the solids plus the weight of the water. And I don't have to write uh, air because air is weightless, right? Doesn't have doesn't have weight. Uh, gravity doesn't really apply to it. So uh, with that said, uh, weight total. There's a formula in the manuals of weight total, and this is the weight of the solids uh, times one plus W. W right there. That's the lowercase w. That is, uh, let me rewrite that. That's going to be your water or moisture content. Water content, moisture content. So we have a capital W, which is right here, which is the weight. And then we have a lowercase w, which is your moisture content. So I'm going to write MC. That's what that is. Moisture content. Um, and notice, I mean, we have no unknowns here. We have weight total right here. Okay. And then we have our moisture content given to us in the problem, 12.3. And uh, all of a sudden, I mean, we, we can solve for this guy. We can solve for the weight solids, which you remember, up here is what we're solving for, right? Uh, and so when you do that, we're going to end up with something that looks like this. 4.47 pounds is equal to the weight solids, so capital uh, W, uh, times 1 plus... Our uh, moisture content, which is 0 0.123, okay, make sure you write it in decimal form and not uh, the percent, 
and uh, and so when you solve for W S, that's a capital W S, this ends up being three point nine eight pounds. All right. So that makes sense. So basically what we did is we solved in the initial part, we solved for the weight of our soil or our sample, right? Uh, and then we just took the water out. It gave us the percent of moisture content in that sample. We took the water out. And so now we have the weight of our, uh, of our solids. And so with that said, we can plug it into our formula that it gave us. Right here we have a volume of our uh, mold, which can go ahead and be inferred that the weight or the volume of our mold is going to be the volume of our sample. Uh, that would make sense. And so if we're going to plug and chug, I'm just going to do it up here. Uh, we end up with 3.98 pounds. And we're going to put that over the, uh, over the volume that it gives us. So 0 0.026. And this is cubic feet. All right. And so when you solve for this guy, you actually end up with, uh, hey, while I've got you here, if you've already enrolled in one of the review courses at civilengineeringacademy.com, keep it up. You can do this. Uh, if you haven't, I encourage you to go to civilengineeringacademy.com to check out some awesome practice exams and resources uh, that will help you pass the PE or the FE exams uh, the first time. So with that said, our answer ends up being 153.08, and this is PCF, pounds per cubic foot. And it looks like that's going to be B there. All right, so I hope this video helps, and we'll catch you next time.